What's up, guys? Well, it's Sunday morning. It's uh, 6.40 in the morning. Worked all night doing a 12-hour shift at the sheriff's office. And uh, talked Joey into meeting me this morning out here in Holiday Beach. Try to maybe catch a couple of fish this morning before I have to go back to work tonight. It's uh, about 70 degrees, some showers around us. Uh, luckily, we're kind of like in a little lull in between the showers. So we're going to see if maybe we can't get lucky this morning and catch a couple of fish. The, uh, it's not completely smooth out there over the water today, but it's pretty close. The winds are about four miles an hour right now. So hopefully this will be conducive with a couple of fish. Keep my fingers crossed. fam doing a little intro just got done having a little drizzle anyway so the new camera's not on there don't want to risk getting that wet just yet out here in holiday beach uh figure since it is going to be rainy and a potential uh winds picking up where he decided to come out here and be a little safe tyler's with us today Hopefully has a better day than we did the other day at Copano Bridge. But anyways, hopefully you join us and see what we can get a hold of today. Will the trout slayer sniff out the trout? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, I got a little mosquitoes already. See anything out here? Yeah, right there. No, nope, mullet. Darn. Dude, already had a already had a strike. Yeah, he came right out of the water after it. Hit it again. Ah, they're right here, bro. <laughs> well, Tyler said out there in that deeper water over there towards his trout hole. Says he's getting strikes. I'm gonna try to get this red. Come right over here where I cut that red last time. Oh, we're in a. I'm in a trout slick right here. Yep, I know. It's all out here. I can see it. I smell it. Dude, they keep knocking it out of the water. Must be some dinks. Oh. Come on, baby. Come on. See all those blow ups? Blowing it up, buddy. Yeah, I know. I just can't get him to take it. Blowing it up. And not one of them grabbed a hole. Not one of them. Crazy, ain't it? Gosh dang. There we go. Fish on. There we go. Who's been making that fuss out there? Oh, that's good. Oh. 
Oh, come on. I'm about to lose this fish. All right, guys. Whew. Little top water bite this morning. I like it. Oh, yeah. First trout this morning. Beautiful little guy. Oh no. 14 and a half. Well. Ah, uh, you still got a lip. It's okay. I'll put you back. I'm not take a selfie with you just yet. <laughs> All right. Let's get some more of those guys in our bellies. We're going to try to keep some trout today. I have a buddy of mine that owns some trout. I guess he's going to grill them up with some pico de gallo. So let's get back after it. Fish out. Uh -uh. Little one. <laughs> Well, it's a fish nonetheless, guys. It's a fish nonetheless. There we go. About 10 inches long. I really want to try my new rod. The top water run. Just not getting the action out of it. I like. Just not quite getting the action. I went with a heavier leader, and maybe I should have went with a lighter leader. I don't know. Whoo! He was there. He hit it. Just couldn't catch it. There we go. There's a fish on. There's a fish on right there. Yeah, but a little foul hook. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I got him in the mouth. Fish in the boat. Fish in the boat. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Happy about being in the boat, but he's in the boat nonetheless. This fish really doesn't want to be in the boat at all. I'm really not enjoying having a bunch of uh, trouble hooks flopping around either. I mean, he's hooked, so he ain't going anywhere, but. There we go. It's a nice little fish right there. It's a nice little fish indeed. Now, I just gotta find my stringer. all this stuff. Alright. See if we can't do this again here. Another fish on right there. Another fish on right there. Ah, lost him. Nope. Oh, I thought he went away. I thought he left, but he was coming right at me. Wearing a little bit of water here. Doesn't like being in the boat at all. 
definitely not the most graceful and i guess i ought to start using my uh my cheap a seven dollar walmart uh net but i don't know how much fun that would actually be that bad boy's in there pretty good there we go that's what i'm talking about folks right there we we're here doing this a while back we're back here doing it again yeah buddy that's how we do it <laughs> Dude, these fish they're right here yep oh They are running the boat. Look at him run the boat. He's a little one. But you know what? He's still a trout. Yeah, buddy. What's about? That's what it's about right there. Try not to keep fish after measure. All right. Let's rock that again, guys. That was fun. Ah, oh, backlash. I adjusted my spool, my drag, or my drag, my break a little bit, and I don't think it liked it that much. So I don't know what how Joey's doing over there, but. All right. It just honestly smells like I'm in a huge watermelon right now. I'm still not getting the action that I want out of this new top water. Yeah, I just gotta be a little aggressive with it because that looked perfect. That's exactly what I want. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Whoo! Oh, this one. Whoo! Pull and drag. Pull and drag this guy. Oh, don't go in there, boat. Look at that. Beautiful fat trout. Like I said, I need to work on my netting skills. Monster, buddy! Monster! Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh! Yes! Yes! I knew they were out here. That first good, good cold front, and boom! Fatty! All right. Well, he got my fish grips caught in the net. Look at that big old fang tooth. Look at that. Beautiful fatty. Beautiful fatty. Mm.
18 incher. Well, there's more trout around here. This one was awesome. Great fight. Uh, great fight on this guy. I'm gonna have to get my line back out there, but he got that lure so caught up on that net. I even had to rip his lip out. Lucky enough, we're keeping fish today. So uh, let's see what else we can get. Strike. <laughs> Another strike. Eh, here comes more rain. Now, I'm going to move out a little bit deeper water here. Or out to another area. Just out of pure curiosity. I'm going to try popping cork real quick. Just for fun. Rigged up this popping cork with a double. So we'll see if we can't get a bite on this bad boy. Hey, yeah, pop court work. I don't think he's very big. He's coming right to me. But he hit the bottom one. I bet it's a fish. Heck yeah. Thanks. Better, dude. Trout are still out here. See if we can't do that again. Yeah, right there, right there. That's why we keep the camera on. Right there. Fish on! And Tyler just yelled out, fish on! So that's awesome. I don't know what he's using. Ah! Oh, and he lost it. I knew it. Not supposed to lose him like that, Tyler. It happens. Let's see what we can do with the popping cork this morning. Here we go. Fish on! Little guy. Eh, a little shake to him. Ah, look at the little guy. But hey, you were fun. I want those 18 ers in, you know, or even 20 er but nonetheless get bigger little dude get bigger and thank you it was a pleasure once again chartreuse gulp swimming mullet
for the win. And that swimming mullet is definitely having a, it's on its last leg for sure. There we go. Fish on! A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger of a guy. Pulling me around. He's a feisty one. There we go, Tyler just got a fish on. This guy is missing half its tail. And we're about a 14 and a half. You see that? That's interesting. And Tyler lost him. Thank you, sir. Oh. That is awesome. Maybe the the scope had some more ump into it than I thought. Get a bigger one. <laughs> I think I scared our our other kayaker that we had over here off. No, he's still back over there. He's going a little bit shallower. He got that nice hobie. It would you know move around nice and quickly that's my goal one day oh darn it all oh, the dum dum talking just talking there we go fish on A little dinker. Oh, it's a redfish. Look at this guy. No, popping cork. Look at this guy. Oh, you have some beautiful blue to you. Got you right through the eye. I'm sorry, little dude. I'm sorry. Look at that beautiful blue on his tail. He's ready to go. <laughs> See? I just need to catch, like, my PB. I have never caught anything over 20 inches on redfish. My personal best speckled trout's 28 inches. I thought I'd beat my grandpa, but his was 29. So I need to catch myself a really big red. Get her back out there. Do it again, shall we? This uh, chartreuse swimp, sh uh, shrimp. <laughs> Chartreuse swimming mullet is getting tore up. Fish on. Yeah. Ah, dude. Fish on. Joe is racking them up over there. A little bit bigger one here, guys. A little bit bigger. I already had one hell of a pull. Man, it's a little bit bigger. This one might be a keeper here. Maybe not. Maybe a 14. Maybe a 14.
open wide. Chee! <laughs> you guys, I love coming out and catching trout. You know, they are, in my opinion, one of the awesomest, if that's even a word, tasting fish. 14 also. But, they are fun to fight. Especially when you get in those monsters. And, they taste great. Like I said, I don't really keep them that much. Today I am. And it just seems like I'm getting a whole bunch of dinks. But, I'm still having fun.